the rest of the people had already left and found them another boarding home and everything. It was only two guys that lived there. And that's the guy that I had recorded. Um, the previous house manager that tried to link with Sherelle and say this and that. I had recorded one of the clients saying that no, that lady was fired because she was trying to take our money. Right. Trying to sell their pills. Man, you know how this be. Man. That yes. Shit crazy. So all this sh- when she, by the time she put up that sh- them people like was already out that house instead of two people. But these tried to make it seem like to the internet that I just kicked them people out. No. That's but, she, you know. Yeah, she definitely made it. That, like that's that. all. all she, and people be knowing this girl be lying because they be knowing I be clocking everything that she say, bro. I will say for the most part, definitely everything. <laughs> and they still be, they still be. Oh, you can make fake documents. I just made my house papers that fast. This bitch went from saying my mansion was rent to my mansion is somebody else's name. She how the fuck my mansion is somebody else's name. I think she said that because both of y'all have the it's peachy uh LLC E I N whatever the fuck is why No, I the LLC she said is that. just the LLC is in my name and what she don't know what she don't know about Peach Cobbler Factory, Peach Cobbler Factory operates on a different LLC. That is peachy time is for my house. Crazy ass. Crazy. And then, last Crazy question, because you done clocked everything at this point. Uh, th- th- taking all the money out of the business account, what is that? Well, okay, so listen, I wish I could just send you. I'm on the phone. Damn, I'm on this phone, so I can't send you the. Yes, the fuck you can. I can probably, I can probably have my sister that's in the see on on 470. Don't say it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Got people over here. 470. <laughs> Was that my number? No. <laughs> oh, I gotta remember it. Hold on, wait. I'm talking to me right now. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Hello. Hello. Now at this point, ask her is Corey jewelry real? <laughs> no. What? Send the recording of the video. This morning, I had my sister record that off her phone. You can't just say no and, and walk past like you ain't just f- say no. You got me doing two things at one time. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Send a recording of that video this morning to this number. The video, the recording of me and Ari. And Ari. Okay, so let me tell you about these. So, about, we can give my sister time to send the video. You want me to tell you about these or the Corey jewelry? I need to know the jewelry. <sighs> okay. So, we was talking about jewelry one day. And he was like, um, how you get inside this jewelry and stuff? You do know, like, before like before Corey, for a while, I was going with Block World JV mm-hmm. for a minute. Mm-hmm. And so, I was like, me and Block used to buy each other jewelry. You know, like, go to Ice Jam, get our jewelry, this and that. Like, wifey, he was like, oh, hell no. Man, I'm, go- I'm getting my, all this should be more so nice. Like, I ain't going to pay all this for no jewelry. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> that goddamn! I feel like everybody got moistenite. Well, clearly you I mean, do not have moistenite, but I mean, I don't know because they be saying the other jewelry stores like these other people be selling moistenite. I don't know, and they say you can't sell by the diamond. Just the diamond test is gonna say it's real. The diamond test definitely gonna say it's real. So, I don't really know. I really don't know. But what I've stopped doing, though, because I used to always buy jewelry. I used to buy my Cubans, 30000 here, 40000 for these Cuban petty watches. I don't stop buying all this jewelry. This shit don't hold value any You know what I'm saying? Better get you some gold. Then, like, I, I got all these Cubans, all these rapper jewelry. I hate this shit. And I said, I'm, I really want to trade this shit and get pointers, like some real classy stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. But I'm trying to. My sister, go ahead and write me back and send that video to that number. But according to the Peach Collar Factory, right? Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> I've been working on the build out since last year because it was, you know, the city was approving my permits late. So I got to the end of my build out. It was like three, four weeks before I had open. I didn't even know this person. I met this person through the Britney girl. We went to Cabo. Mm-hmm. So she just was at the table like, man, y'all real bosses. I got to take off the suit, but. I ain't making money like y'all. I'm trying to see like what's to invest in this and that. Danny, you got these. You got the mental health facilities. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna lie to you. The mental health facility is another ball game. I said you gotta 
they, they, you gotta be your passion. Like you, it's something that you gotta go to school for. You can't open this shit and, and, and hire a counselor to do this because the counselor gonna take your clients because you don't have a license. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, but other than that, I said I'm getting into these franchises. Like I'm really ready to start franchising different restaurants. And so I said, I told her I was working on a project. We just having business talk, you know, everybody at the table. And she was like, how much it costs to get a peach cobbler factory? I said, well, it's different prices because it depends on your location, your build out. So everybody is different. Mm-hmm. So gave her the people numbers, gave her the people numbers or whatever, told her to reach out to them to let them know what territory. She wanted a territory in Houston. She wanted the Woodlands territory. So when they told her, like, how much the average how much the, everything was going to be around. It's over like 442. That's how much she was going to be out of due to the, the, the area, like how much the, the building's going for there, the triple net, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. They was telling her because, you know, they got their own company contractors. Like if you find like a square feet building with this, this size, you're going to pay this. So that's when she came back to me. She was like, um, the other day told me like 400 and some thousand. She said, how much you paying for your build out? I said, well, right now, I didn't invest it. I made like a three hundred mark. You get what I'm saying? But I ha- I gotta buy my equipment. My equipment is forty one thousand. Mm. So I ain't going over four hundred. <clears throat> so she was like, "How would you feel if I give you half of everything you put in, and we just go fifty fifty on everything?" So I I had analyzed it. I had thought about it for a whole week and a half. Mm. So I was like, you know what? I talked to different people about it because I never had a partner before. Like, I never had a partner in neither one of my businesses. And then it's, it's getting to the point now, like, the, the deal in Turks. I want to link with people that got the bag like me. So, it's getting to the point that I got so many different businesses that I wouldn't even mind having a partner. You get what I'm saying? Right. So, I ended up um, I ended up telling her, but before I get your money, I want to take you to Florida to meet the owner, to meet, the you know, the son. You know, like the same initial meeting I went to, I want you to go meet these people or whatever. So you can see this is what you really want to do. Because before I paid my money, I went down there and I, you know, I made sure this is what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So guess what? We flew to, we flew to Florida. We stayed in Florida three days. We talked to the owner of the company. We talked to, you know, let them know our plans and this and that and all kind of stuff like that. Like, he trained us in the kitchen how to fix different products, like the systems and everything. She was like, oh, yeah, it's pretty easy. Like, I think it's going to be good. I said, listen, both of us live in Houston. I said, this store is in Dallas. The reason why the store is in Frisco is because before I closed on my house in June, I was living in Frisco. Mm -hmm. So, I had already bought that territory. You get what I'm saying? I couldn't change my territory. Mm -hmm. So, I explained to her, the store is in Houston. I mean, the store is in Dallas. We live in Houston, but we still got to be committed to go to this store two times out of a week. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Under no circumstances, because I don't want to leave them to the point that they by themselves, and I don't know what they're doing. Even though I got camera, I got cameras and stuff, but even though I leave somebody else in charge, I still like to be hands-on. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I already know you got a daycare. I know you got a tax business. I know you got all that. I got other business ventures, too. So, at the end of the day, I'm letting you know. That we we have to be at this store two times out of the week under no circumstances. So she was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I can do it. Blah, blah, blah. I end up talking to my my spiritual advisor about the whole little ordeal, right? Mm-hmm. I can call her right now. I end up talking to my property. And my property said, the only problem you're going to have out of her is she ain't going to want to go down there. Just like when she told to go down there, right? Mm-hmm. So I let this lead. I was like, okay, I'm going to just still see. So after we came back from Florida, that's when she gave me her half. She gave me her half. I think I was at like 300 and something. So I think she gave me like 150 or something like that or something like that. So we did all the paperwork over. We did the operating agreement over. We I sent her the information to add herself to the um, Peach Cobbler EIN. The clean business, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Signed it, notarized everything. We went from there. I can say, never had an issue when I say, okay, the um the equipment is forty one thousand. Send twenty, send twenty, pay for the equipment. Never had that type of problem. The only issue I had with her is that and this happened like two weeks a week and a half ago. So we set up our business account as a basic account, right? Come on, it's a regions account. Right. It was a basic um business account. So Regions was saying that the, the amount, the transactions that was coming to the account was large. Like, 
you got to understand this store is pushing $36,000 a week. Mm-hmm. So the account was not the right account type. So they sent us a letter saying that it was on closed account because it was a basic account. And we had, we is more than 50,000 or 75,000 worth of sales going in there a month or whatever the case may be. So we was at Smoothie King trying to keep in mind. I was like, okay, Peach Cobbler Factory going kind of good. She probably ain't going like how she said she was going to go, but I can I can bear with it because I know what I bring to the bees. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I was like, I'm going to get on this Smoothie King place. She was like, oh, I want to do it. Let's do it. So I'm in the Smoothie King training, right? Right. So I had told her, I said, listen, after we did we did our, our split the day before. Like at the end of every month, we do a split. Like if, if $70,000 is left in the account, Thirty five thousand go here, the other thirty five thousand go to our personal account, right? Mm-hmm. So we only had one more day before they had closed the regions account down. You know the the account they say the transactions was too large, the deposit was too large that was coming in. Uh-huh. So I said, um, I said, Ari, right, do you want me to send this? It was only twelve thousand dollars in there. I said, do you want me to send the twelve thousand dollars to your account because see at that moment it was Wednesday, but payroll is due on Thursday before two. So I said, do you want me to wire these money to your account, your personal account, and then you can just go get a cashier check and put it in our new account? You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or do you want me to just wire it to my account, and then I can get a cashier check and put it in a new account? I was like, well, you know what? Mm-hmm. Just send me your just send me your wire number because I, I don't want to go to the bank any damn way. I want to use my lunch break from Smoothie King to go do something else. So I'm going to just send it to your account. So she didn't know her wire number. I said, you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and send it to my account. So I sent the money to, I wired the money to my personal account, right? They left the regions account at zero, which means that they can go ahead and close that account out, right? Uh-huh. So, boom. So I had to go to Navy Federal to get the $12,000 check and then put it in the new bank account, right? Mm-hmm. So by then, we so busy, you got to understand, we getting out of Smoothie King training. These people got us really working. Like, we really in a store, like, like we really working. Like, and I like it, don't get me wrong, but... Some some days we'll work from two to ten. Some days we'll work from seven in the morning to four. You know, just training. Right. So, and when I leave Smoothie King, sometimes I go I go home. So that's another three hour drive from San Antonio. And sometimes I stay there. Mm-hmm. So Thursday rolled around. I was like, damn. I said I gotta get that check and deposit the check. So when I went and got the check and tried to deposit the check, they was like, it's not gonna clear until so seven days. It's your first time putting the check in. I was like, damn, the check ain't going to clear the seven days and we got to send payroll over before before two o'clock today in order for everybody to be paid on time on tomorrow. So guess what? In business, you make sacrifices, right? Right. Okay, so that's when um, I was like, well, I'm going to go run to Navy Federal and get a check out of my personal account. You go ahead and wire seven shifts the, the payroll money, the 6260. You go ahead and wire that to seven shifts and... I'm going to get your money back out of my personal account. I'm going to deposit the check into, you know, the $12,000 and the seventy five, whatever clear first. You can get your sixty two sixty back out of that. That makes sense? Mm-hmm. Because if you deposit over $10,000, it's going to take longer to clear. So if I don't get a check for $7,500 on my personal account and put it in our new business account, that cleared that, that same night at midnight. So when that cleared, of course, get your sixty two hundred dollars back out that you just wired over for the payroll. Not thank you, because that's what you do as a partner. I had to do it two weeks prior before. I did it three weeks ago for the payroll. So it is what it is. That's that's what you do in business. So I, that's why I didn't understand when she uh, was trying to say that I took all the money out the account. I'm like Ari, why did you even get in this? First of all, I don't know why but Ari see, got in it at all. Because <laughs> Brittany ended up calling her and telling Ari that um. You know, Corey said, Danny said, you lazy. And you know what? I probably have talked to Corey about Ari. And I saw Ari that on the phone. I said, Ari, I said, a lot of people seen it at Grand Opening. I said, at Grand Opening, I was behind the register working all day taking orders. Literally. You get what I'm saying? Because I really didn't, you know, I'm a people person, but I kept myself busy because I know a lot of people was going to just try to stop me, talk to me and stuff like that. And, you know, I did that, too. But I was helping the team. It was their first day. So while she just walk around all day with her family. So a lot of people caught on to this. But at the end of the day, I'm not, I I ain't tripping about that. This still got to get done. And I'm trying to get the money back that I put in. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's the only problem. And I have talked to Corey about Ari. So Corey then called mm-hmm. Brittany and told Brittany everything I said about Ari. And 
that's when Ari told Britney, and that's how she ended up getting on the phone. Like, oh, Danny said, I don't go down there like I should. And Danny said, I said, well, you don't. I got messages of me constantly, like, asking you to go to the store. Like, can you help me with the schedule? You did. Can you, you did show that. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, like, you're not doing nothing for the business. So how the f you still going to expect 50%? You're not helping me. Well, she said I she did payroll. Just, because you can't do one it time. Ah, <laughs> that's like funny. if I'm at the store and you at home, guess what? You should be the one that do payroll. Cause I just got in my car and drove three hours down the road down the road to check on my store. Don't you know I'm just getting back from Peach Cobbler Factory today? How many times she been there? She only go when I tell her to go. That's why she said I feel like an employee. I said, why do you feel like an employee? Because a real boss. They gonna do what they wanna do. This show story just like his mine. You don't gotta tell me what days you go down there. Just go pop up on them. That's what I do. Right. I got in my car this morning. I left my house at nine o'clock. I drove to Dallas. I've been at Peach Peach Collar Factory for one. I left at like six thirty, and I'm just getting back to my house. If I can do that, you can do that too. I do that two times out of the week, and I'm still going to this Smoothie King training. I miss Smoothie King training today to go to Peach Collar Factory. I started, it's to the point, I, I let her go. You know what? You just gonna go to Smoothie King training. I'm gonna take care of Peace Cobb the Factory because I gotta take care of what we already put our money in. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> so y'all still gonna do business together on the Smoothie King after she did? No, no, nah, nah, that, that's what that's what I'm working on now. I really, after hearing that shit, like, because that, that really rubbed me wrong. I'm like, bro, why you just didn't call me? I would have told you everything I told Corey because the same shit I told Corey is in your messages too. And I already told you that you don't put, you don't put your 100% in on this franchise. And like, I take this shit serious. Everything I put my money in, I take it serious. Do you hear me? I don't mm -hmm. want to lose that nothing. I hate to lose at a business. But she the type of person, she don't care. She don't care. I see. And then she will put the tags on somebody else. But here's my thing. The store manager is already running the store and doing this, doing this, doing this. Why don't you tell this lady to place the food order? Come on, are you sitting at home? Like, you at your daycare. Like, you sitting at a desk all day. You can place the food order. Why would you? Well, that's a store manager. Then we pay her for it. But at the end of the day, she's trying to structure the store. She's trying to train the staff. So, it ain't nothing to place the food order or help her with the schedule. Like, she just became a store manager on September 14th. So, you know, like... We can help her for 90 days, and then after that, we see that she's strong and she know how to move around. Then we can just tell her, okay, this is how you place the food orders. This is how you do payroll. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. how you do people. You just don't just, just because we paying her at this, you don't just throw shit on her. Yeah, it sounds like so, R don't want to do <laughs> She wants you to do And you see thing. it in the damn shit. You see it in the messages. Yeah. And she got excuses for everything, like... Okay, can you help me with these? Um, I got a few errands to run, so I'm going to do it once I get back home. Man, you know what? Bro, I'm just do it myself. And that's what she used to. Like, if I don't do it, I know she's going to get it done. Because guess what? If, if she don't do it, I know I got to get it done. So, I mean, somebody got to do it. Exactly. So, that's when people like, oh, she did, did, did that. No, we changed business bank accounts. That's crazy. So, my thing is, it's like, it's to the point that I don't want to do, like, no. I even talked to the men today. I'm like, listen, it's three more stores in, in Houston, and I like the three-store deal. Um, One of us in the lead is deal. Give me this deal right here. You get what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. if you want to do this by yourself, you do it. But I doubt if she's going to do it because, yeah. She can't handle she can't it. Handle I mean, she can't no, even drive can't. up to the goddamn, to Dallas. That, and then you know something, and my feelings don't be hurt at all. But you know something, there's something that really hurt my feelings because I don't even think she knew she was getting recorded. But at the same mm. time, if you knew you heard Sherelle on the motherfucker phone, so you on my phone, you on my phone this morning pleading your case. If you knew you heard that on the phone, you probably been said, you know what, Brittany, if Danny said this, let me get out the phone and call Danny. But nine times ten, you know I said it. So you was talking to her and she was pleading her case? You talked to her today? Yeah, you. my sister just said she sent you the video. Oh, So I don't know if you got it. Man, we've been on live for a long Bruh, time. Too long. Everybody like, damn, Nick. <laughs> nah, she ain't sending it. It probably be still sending. Like, hold on, let me ask for has it sent yet? 
There ain't no way we've been on the phone for two hours. I know, right? Crazy. <clears throat> and the delivery. But yeah, like I recorded her these morning because I was on drop on my Facebook page. I got blocked. That was on most of me and I got blocked. Not but anyways, I was on, blocked off of everything. And I'm blocked off uh, like live and shit. That's why I've been getting on podcast all day. <laughs> But anyways, but, <laughs> but I was going to post all the recordings, but I ended up getting blocked earlier. But yeah, like she pleaded on case like, I wasn't talking about you and no, what Brittany told me, you said that I was lazy. I said, I told you that to your face. You got that in, in writing, in, in the phone. Because everything I do, I'm going to put it in writing. You get what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. if it gets to the point that I got to get my attorney, you got to get your attorney, guess what? I put myself on the schedule for Peach Goblin Factory. Like, when I make their schedule, I add myself to the schedule for a reason. So, guess what? I got proof of what days I be there. Anytime I ask her every day, like, what day you want me to add you to the schedule? What two days you want to go down there? And I tell her, go down there back to back. Because we just got a condo uh, in Frisco when it was Friday. So, we move in on 25th. So, there's no excuse now that you can't stay down there two days in a row. Because now we got a condo. You get what I'm saying? Oh, y'all got the condo together? Well, I just, I want to get the condo myself, but I got the condo for me and her when we go down there. Mm. And, like, we just have somewhere to stay. And that means I can stay down there two, three days if I wanted to because I do taxes from home anyway. Yeah. So, my thing is, um, <clears throat> she said one of, the, one of them did deliver. It might be, like, four. It might be broken up. But, yeah, it's kind of like, I just don't know, man. I don't know. So, I'm like, if I got to get my attorney, you got to get yours. Listen. I've been on the schedule since day one. Danny, Danny is going to be here Monday from one to six, and then she gonna double back on Tuesday. From yeah, that's how I put myself on the schedule. Child, she better get with the program. <clears throat> I mean, I, clearly y'all still got to keep this store, so y'all gonna have to thug it out regardless, huh? Or you yeah, and then her, ma- her main, her main biggest issue. We just already renegotiated the fleet. She she agrees to it. She agrees to it. So my thing is her main her biggest thing was everybody on the media think it's just your story. I said, Oh, you gotta understand, I've been promoting this since last year. So at at the beginning, it was just my story until July. Cause I opened August the twenty fourth. And so July, that's when you came about, right? Uh-huh. So here's the thing too. When I paid for my PR services, when I paid my PR, I paid him for real press. So when you Google Peach Cobble Factory Frisco, you see real press from um, cruising like magazines and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I paid my PR fifteen thousand. I asked her, I said, "Do you want to go have on PR service?" She's like, "What we need that for? We don't need that type of stuff." I said, "It's good for business." She didn't want to go have on it. So you know what? All my press is gonna say Danny Washington. No, okay. <laughs> So, you know, you can't get mad because you're not included in the press and you didn't give me $7,500. Yeah, she she also could have ran her own campaign. <clears throat> you could have ran your own campaign. That's what I'm, my, my PR did our whole rollout from the news station interviews to the uh, news reporter coming out talking to us. So, that's why everybody was Danny, 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 too, because you didn't pay your other half of the, the PR services. Yeah. And then I still announced her on Facebook as my partner, but she was like, everybody like Danny and Corey. I said, they was going to do that anyway. Because at the end of the day, before Corey, I still had a fan base, my biggest Corey. But business people, did they did know me. Right. And then Corey fan base, they was going to lead to me anyway. So, I mean, it shouldn't even be like that. Because if I go in business with Beyonce, I ain't worried about everybody saying this Beyonce shit. I don't worry about my bag. I'm going to Beyonce on, making yeah. my bag. Bigger, you get what I'm saying? Literally, because that's what it's about. <clears throat> exactly. So you should have one. See if you got one. I'm not now. Let me see what I see. Wrong wrong number. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so slow. You were trying to keep me from calling out the phone number. Why you didn't mute? I should have muted. Hell yeah, that was the wrong number. I'm gonna leak your number. Oh no, you're I'm not. You like <laughs> I will hang up on you. Corey <laughs> leaked my numbers today. Let me tell you something. I still ain't trying to draw shit yet. I said, man, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Where he is? I'm not. Sure, you? Oh. Sure. And he did it on purpose. Damn, you took my name out your, uh, your name's still Corey in my phone. You petty as hell. But anyway, <laughs> he leaked my shit. Like, folks, been takes about phone. Like, I promise we can be together. Oh my we can be god! Together 
I'm thinking he got a spam page or something because you said that. I'm like, where? Where is it at? Yeah. He leaked it and different people started texting me. And shit. But I was like, man, I'm not even changing my number. I got too much. I got this, this right here. This is a Timmy, not a phone during tax season. I ain't gonna change my phone number. I got How many clients I'm gonna lose? Like, I like my clients to have direct contact with me. That's why you. That's how you know I'm humble. Like, I don't, I don't, uh-uh. You can get my number, baby. Call me about your refund at 1 o'clock in the morning if you want to. 1 o'clock is crazy. Oh, they will call you at 1 o'clock. I ain't gonna lie. If I'm up, I'm the phone. And I'm gonna keep the ass on the phone. Like, hey, I'm keeping you on the phone two hours. Yeah, you want me to come on your podcast? Now you gotta deal with me. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm about to hang up on your ass. Hell yeah, no. Nah. I know your ass sleepy. You ain't going to sleep. I ain't sleeping. Like my night, booty though. hurt. I'm about to stay. Yeah, uh huh. Mine too. I think sitting in my car. <laughs> That's crazy. And you need to change that McDonald's Wi Fi you got over there. No, them people came out and, and gave me new, like more routers. And that shit still is Trash. bad. They got me like fucking Xfinity. <laughs> trash. trash. Big trash. Xfinity. Girl, get you some. Uh, you need some fiber. You know them people only service certain areas. You yeah, gotta get with it. That's true. So yeah, they gave me that. Sh- and I'm like, man, listen, this house too damn big and pretty. So to we be having I'm going through this shit over there, giving us tea and breaking the f- up. I, 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 I want to. Can I call my sister on through and just have a? You can, or I, I just send it to me. and I will react to it later. Oh, if you don't click that one. The one time the Wi-Fi won't come through for us. Right when we needed that. Little piece of tea. <laughs> I just told her, I just told her send us the other number, but what I was gonna say, once you once you play them videos then and I ain't getting nobody these videos today. I know you were supposed to be give me a little uh, little something, little interview, little something. But you know, whatever. I was gonna get I was gonna get to you though. You did. I was gonna get to you. Say the best for last. I ain't tripping. Yeah, I was gonna get to you. Well, you about to do another interview. You say that's bigger. You say you got a big thing going on tomorrow, something. You act like you about to be yeah. on CNN. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Actually, we do it tomorrow, but I don't know when we're gonna air it though. Y'all gonna be like, what the f? Mm. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. All right. Well, I can't wait. There's so many people in my DM that's laughing, man. There's so many people. This shit crazy. I ain't going to cap. I knew you was going to do this. I just thought, oh, not Karma's part. Is it going to be Karma? Nah, I can't say that right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. I hope not, Tasha K. Please. Please. No. <laughs> this girl is funny, man. The the first podcast I went on, no, the second one. This girl is funny as hell. Uh, she said, "I want to ask you about two, three, five old questions." Uh huh. That's why I said I'm gonna get all my questions out. Uh huh. If we was gonna talk, oh baby, I was gonna talk. I need everything. This- it's so funny, man. This has been a fun, the funniest two days of my life, man. I swear. You have had a time. It has been a, man. I'm like, damn, people don't get tired. I'm tired. Hell yeah. Hey, I, I ain't getting no sleep last night. No, I knew Corey can come for my ass. I stayed on last night at 5 o'clock in the morning. I was up yeah, at 6. So, he, was, he was not going to catch me sleeping. Okay. Ooh, I was still up dropping shit on Facebook by his ass. <laughs> you know, I know. I was yeah. right there. Waiting on it. Listen, my brother-in-law had left out the door once I set my alarm, right? He'll go sit on the um the patio outside. So I had set my alarm because I'm thinking like my people sleep. So I'm just going to set my alarm. Let me tell you something. I had most of laid down and dozed down about a good one o'clock, two o'clock. Mm-hmm. Man, that motherfucking alarm went off in that house. I grabbed every motherfucking gun I had. <laughs> I'm like, I know this cool, yeah. <laughs> You know he'll pop back up, get to breaking your laptops and shit like he man. did, man. Man, I know. So I'm like, what the f***? And then look, somebody calling me a guest at the gate right now. Hold on. Oh, God.
Oh, who is this? Oh, who is this? Your bad teeth. Did he? I went to the store. Oh, I thought I thought that was Corey trying to get in the gate. We thought Corey was at the door. Oh, Corey was at the door. I just let you in. Hell yeah! Like I was waiting. I was like, man, I know Corey didn't just come and come back in my damn house, man. I was asleep, man. I thought he was gonna pop up. How you know he didn't go to the other condo? How I know? Do you want to see the footage right now? The sign why be looking at these double the factory cameras every single day? <laughs> Please, <laughs> don't threaten me with a good time now. <laughs> Is you having a damn camera at the condo? He went to what he went to. He went to uh, I told you the, the guys that he been hanging with for the last week. One of them guys had like an empty condo. They do like I don't know what they do. 